Okay, so welcome to this uh, next block of instruction. We're going to talk a little bit about cameras and motion path uh, for the cameras. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the city that uh, the students put together in my class. And what I'm going to do first is show you the proper way to open the project. Um, I've been seeing some problems with that. So we're going to go ahead and open up Maya. Give it a second. Okay, and probably has opened up for you in something like this in a Maya classic form or um, where we have your outliner and all this stuff that we've stashed away on the side here, all of our channel box. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to file and we want to set the project. And the reason why we want to do this um, and through Maya opening it up first and setting the project is so that when we open it, all of our textures on our buildings will show up or whatever objects we have in our scene. And we also want to have access to all of the correct files. So if I open up this here, you see all these files, our source images, our images, all those things would be available. So I'm going to set the project by file set project. I'm going to click on our folder, in this case, our city, and I'm going to hit set. Looks like nothing happened, but um, that's just how it works. And then I'm going to go to I'm going to go ahead and open up the project. We're going to go to File, Open Scene. And now you see we have our inside, our, our city, our scenes. And the scene we're going to open up is the our city scene. Don't save this one. And this is a pretty large file, so it's going to take a minute or so to open. As you can see, it starts to populate. And thanks to all the hard work in our classes, we have quite a few diverse buildings creating this little city scene that we have here, along with a park scene, um, a box for our Eiffel Tower here, and quite a few other buildings. All right, so now we uh, can see that we have all of our textures on and it's looking pretty good. So what we want to do is probably, you're probably in this right here on this tab for polymodeling. We want to go into curves and surfaces and we're going to draw out a path and we're going to use this uh, curve here. So uh, the EP curve tool and we're going to select it. And then you can see now I have for my cursor a crosshatch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a point to start. And I'll start here. And I'm just going to make quite a few clicks. And the reason why I'm making many clicks instead of just clicking here and going all the way to the end and then turning is because each one of these points later on will give us a point for adjustment. And I'll show you how that will work. So I'm going to go ahead and click quite a few positions here. And we're going to just kind of move through the city area. And give myself some gentler curves. Kind of simulate that we're flying around through the city. Again, trying to keep the turns from being too sharp. And I'm just going to go ahead and keep clicking them around a little bit. 
And if I make them too sharp, I can go back and adjust them here in a minute. All right, so once I'm done tracing out my trail, and I'm gonna go ahead and click it one more time. I'm gonna hit enter, and you can see that the line has now become a solid green. And if we look at it, it's stuck right down on the zero for my y-axis. And you can see that I've completed this complete area. So now with the line highlighted, and if you accidentally click off it, you can't get back to it by selecting it because it is fairly small. You can go down on your outliner and you can select your curve. This is a curve one, and I'm going to rename this my camera path. That way I know what it is. I'm going to hit W on my keyboard, and you can see now that I have my um, movement control here, my gizmo for my movement, and I can pull it up a little bit. And now I pull the whole line up to give me a little bit of altitude. With the line still selected, right click and hold and go to control vertex. And when I do that, all of those clicking points that I've made now appear on my line. So if we didn't have as many clicks, we wouldn't have as many control points where we can make adjustments. Right here, I'm gonna start at the very beginning and I'm gonna start as if I kind of swoop down at the into the city level. So I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna pull it upwards Give myself a little bit of distance and I can also stretch it out more so you can notice if I continue to pull it the line just continues to stretch and grow and if I want to move on to the next line that's right next to or the next dot all I can do I can hit the arrow key and it moves it to the next dot for me as you can see there so the next control point and again I can move it upwards Kind of smooth this out a little bit. Hit the arrow key again, the right arrow key. Push it down a little bit, right arrow key again. Maybe pull this one up a little bit. And if I wanted to go back and make adjustment, I would hit the left arrow key, left and right. Okay. And. And push it down a little bit more here. Continue to push it down some. And if I wanted to, I could hold the shift button and select multiple at the same time. So I could push them all down together. Be careful not to go underground with uh, the line because I don't want the camera to go under the ground. Now I'm just going to continue to kind of make some adjustments, give it a little bit more interesting maneuvering. And some of those spots where I made some really tight curves, I can smooth them out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and continue. Selecting some. You always hit Control Z to go back if you accidentally click off of it. And try again. And sometimes you just need to zoom in a little bit. Maybe not. Okay, push that down.
Okay. All right, so I can continue making adjustments, but I'm going to just make a couple adjustments here at the end, and then I'm going to go ahead and jump onto the camera and show you how to modify the camera. All right, so that's good. I'm going to go with that. Now, what I want to do is before I add the, well, I can add the camera first and then we're going to go ahead and make some adjustments to our animation time. So, the next thing I want to do is add a camera into my scene. Up here under our tabs, the very top, our menus, I'm going to select Create and I'm going to select Camera. And I'm just going to use a regular camera for this one. And the camera is now added into our scene. I'm going to pick it up and then drag it close to where I want to start from. It's not usually necessary. You could do it from where it first entered in. It would still join the path, but it kind of helps me visualize how I want the scene to start. If I can see where the camera is located and the direction that it's pointing. Okay. So I have my camera. The next thing I want to do is I want to change my work scene. You can see down here I have my timeline, but not much else for my animation controls. So I'm going to go up to the workspace. If you have this in Maya 2018 and newer, or 17 and newer rather, and I'm going to go to animation. And now you can see that my windows have changed. I have my animations. I have my outliner over here. I have my channel box over here and my attributes editor over here. This is my attribute editor showing my camera details and my animation timeline down here. I want to give myself more time on my animation. We can always go back and do it later, but uh, we can start out with a number and so that it'll help. If it's the timeline is too short and we have a really long line, you're going to move through your timeline, your uh, motion path very quickly. So I'm going to give myself a thousand frames for this and that will give me a little bit more time. 200 frames, I would have moved through this very long motion path very quickly and probably would have gotten motion sickness. Okay, so with my camera um, selected, what I want to do is actually select my motion path first and then I'm going to hold the shift button and select my camera. And now what I'm going to do is I want to constrain my camera to the motion path. So up here along the top, you'll see I have constrain as my choice here and my tab here is in animation. If you do not see this, change this tab from modeling or rigging or whatever you have it on to animation and go to constrain motion paths and then right here where it says attached to motion path see the little checkbox we want to click on the option box and we want to set it up so that <coughs> excuse me we want to set it up so that our camera is facing the right direction and in this case if i look at it my line is moving out this direction here is my z so i'm going to pick the z as my front axis for this direction and down here my up axis I'm going to leave alone because that's the Y axis and I'm going to click inverse front because right now my camera is facing the wrong direction. With that done um, right here we have time range we're going to use our time slider as our time range so it's going to use this time I have set here. Another way that we could have adjusted the time was we could have set our manually set our start and manually set our end at this point here. We want to make sure that follow is checked because we want the camera to follow the path and that should be pretty much it. We're going to leave everything else alone. I'm going to hit apply and now we can see that the camera is attached to the line and moved over to the line and the front area, the lens, is facing downward along the motion path. I'm going to close this because I think everything is set up the way I want it and I'm going to go ahead and hit play. When I hit play, you can see that the camera now moves along the path and it's moving in the direction I want it to go. And it moves along the path. All right, so that's great, but what if we wanted to see through the camera so we could actually shoot uh, some footage if we wanted to make an animation out of this? 
right here at the top we have our panels and in this spot this is where we can change how uh, our scene looks and what panels we're looking through we have our stereo and orthographic of course for the different cameras we can change but right here in our perspective this camera that we created is called camera one I can click on that and now it changes my view and I can see through my camera and if I hit play you see that my camera is now following along that motion path and it gives us the sense that we're flying through the city at a high speed okay and so that is pretty much it for setting the motion path I have some more videos uh, on how to do some adjustments, how to set it so that our camera looks in different directions. But this is uh, the first in a series of videos. Thank you, and come back and check out the other videos.